Hello, boys and girls. It's Andrew. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Monster Party. It's now about midnight. We're about to embark on a journey into a terrifying new world. Welcome to Outlast. You are Miles Upshur, an investigative reporter whose ambition is about to earn him an intimate tour of hell on Earth. Always willing to risk digging into the stories no other journalist would dare investigate, you will seek out the dark secret at the heart of Mount Massive Asylum. Stay alive as long as you can. Record everything. You're not a fighter. To navigate the horrors of Mount Massive and expose the truth, your only choices are to run, hide, or die. Let's hope it's not the third one. <laughs> Judging by my luck with past games of this nature, we may be doing a lot of dying. But we mustn't think about that now. We must survive. We're on a mission. I'm so excited to play this game, guys. <laughs> I figured, you know, Halloween is just around the corner. Halloween is just around the corner. Just around the corner, toka. Right around the corner, toka wa mosugu ya mamonak. Tatoeba. When times are tough, remember, good things are just around the corner. Tsurai toki, ii koto ga mosugu kuru toyu no wasurenai de kudasai. It's about time we did something scary. We are on the road. Rough roads here. Arapaho. So this takes place in Colorado, a remote area. The Shining, also, Colorado, remote area. Coincidence? I think not. Man, this music is creepy. Here we are, pulling up to the gate. Wait, you're just gonna park it right there? You're not gonna go up to the security gate? You can't do that, man. They'll, they'll tow your car. Oh, boy. Okay, tools of the trade. We've got the documents. September 17th, 2013, from somebody to Miles. That's us. You don't know me. Have to make this quick. They might be monitoring. I did two weeks of software consult at Murkoff Psychiatric Systems facilities in Mount Massive. All sorts of NDAs I am very much breaking right now, but seriously, fuck those guys. So NDA means non-disclosure agreement. It's a contract people sign, companies, not to release classified information. Terrible things happening here. There. Don't understand it. Don't believe half the things I saw. Doctors talking about dream therapy going too deep. Inception. Finding something that had been waiting for them in the mountain. People are being hurt, and Murkoff is making money. It needs to be exposed. And we're the ones to expose it. <laughs> this music is scaring me already. All right, super fancy camera. Check that bad boy out. You know, you'd... You'd think you'd want to go into a situation like this with a gun. I guess a camera is the, the next best thing. Ooh, fancy night light. Okay. Here we go. Investigate Mount Massive Asylum. Oh gosh. Okay, nobody in the security booth. That's good to know. Wow. Are those crows or bats? 
Oh, I guess we need to record. Here we are, outside the Mount Massive Asylum. Beautiful sunset. So we just recorded a note. I wonder what I said. I start feeling sick just looking at this place. Mount Massive Asylum. Shut down amid scandal and government secrecy in 1971. Reopened by Murkoff Psychiatric Systems in 2009 under the guise of a charitable organization. Cell phone reception cut off abruptly a mile out. More like a jammer than lost signal. The Murkoff Corporation has a long track record of disguising profit as charity, but never on American soil. Whatever they thought they could get out of this place has to be big. It might finally be the story that breaks the bastards. These look like military type vehicles. Is there anything in here? I guess not. Shall we go in the front door? <laughs> I got a bad feeling about this. It's locked, of course. That doesn't seem to be working. I don't know if we want to alert whoever's inside about our presence though, you know? Uh, a crouchy hole, of course. This is how we get in. What a lovely garden. Uh-huh. Back door. No, of course it's not gonna be that easy. Uh, my guess is we have to climb in that window. With the camcorder, you can zoom in and out. That is our entry point, for sure. That's our point of entry, for sure. For sure, to you know, ah, zettai, ya, tashkani, ya, kakujitsu ni. Tatoeba, the supplier told me the new stock would arrive by March, for sure. You ready, guys? Here we go. I don't like heights. Jump! Ooh, whoa, I almost fell off the scaffolding there. Oh gosh. We're not even inside and I'm already scared. This is not a good sign. Get it together, Andrew. There's the window. Perfect. To activate the night vision on your camcorder, press F when the camera is raised. Note that night vision uses battery life. Manage it well. I'm gonna... I'm gonna try to go without the battery here. I mean, without the nightlight. Save the battery. We don't want to run out of battery when we really need it. Let's be quiet. <laughs> creaky door. <laughs> creaky, creaky door. Oh, okay, so we can lean. That's good. <laughs> Uh, so. oh. <sighs> okay, it's just, it's just modern electronics, nothing to be worried about, nobody hiding behind the curtains, okay. Trying to be very careful here. Oh, that's blood. That is blood. Not ketchup, guys. Squeeze through. Ooh, good thing I've been on that diet. We must find all of the documents. What's this? 
Oh, a battery. Excellent. Excellent. Are there some documents? No, I guess, I guess not. Oh, boy. Yeah, flickering lights, blood trails, creepy music. The stage is certainly set. There's a document. Shall we read it? Murkoff Psychiatric Systems, Project Wall Rider, Mount Massive, Colorado. Patient initials WPH, Billy. Initial date of patient consult, April 12th, 2009. Patient age, 19. Gender, male. Observing physician, Dr. Carl Houston. Therapy status. Patient claims to have progressed to self-directed lucid dream states. Morphogenic engine activity observed at unprecedented scale. Continuing stage 4 hormone schedule. Diagnostics. Spirometry revealed no bronchial accumulation. Hematocrit centrifuge again failed to separate erythrocytes. Man, there are a lot of, a lot of big words going on here. Man, there are a lot of big words here. Big words というのは難しい言葉やややこしい説明。例えば、Listen, I really don't have time for this. Could you stop using all these big words and just give it to me straight? 本当に時間がないんだ。頼むからややこしい説明をやめて、端的に説明してくれないか。Highly worrisome. MRI revealed arrhythmic REM and REM cycle. Those are the two types of sleep. Laughter in NREM state. Interview notes. Billy asked about the status of his mother's lawsuit against Murkoff in the asylum. This represents a catastrophic breach in security, despite Billy's claims that he discovered the truth in the blood dreams of Dr. Traeger. Blood dreams? Note, the only Traeger on company records, one Richard Traeger, is an executive from MRD. All orderlies and security personnel must be questioned and video security improved to include analytical biometrics. Mm. I wish they would use that suspense music more sparingly. Give me a break, guys. Give me a break. Oh, let's follow the bloody footprints. That's a good... Somebody's in there. Oh, boy. <laughs> Get me out of here uh, before that guy gets out of the bathroom. <laughs> Hide in the vent. It's our only hope. Whew. Safe. I don't know who, who had to go so bad, but... He didn't look friendly, did he? Yeah, maybe he's just the janitor or the night watchman. Okay. And we are breathing heavy. It's pretty terrifying. What was that? Oh, buddy. Oh, man. Where's your head? Where is your head? And there's another one. And, and your head is gone, too. That's just great. Okay, I'm gonna save battery and walk through the dark. Oh, yeah, you got your head. And you're alive. They killed us. They got out. The very. You can't fight them. You have to hide. Okay. You can unlock the main doors. For security control. You have to get the fuck out of this terrible place. Yeah, yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Okay. Um, thanks for your help, sir. I guess we're going to security control. Ooh. Ah! 
a head collector. So this is where all the heads end up. <laughs> it's lovely, lovely collection. Oh boy. And uh, there's a body with no limbs and some guts on the floor. This just keeps getting better, doesn't it? Oh man, oh man, yeah. That's enough to shake up anybody's sanity. I can understand why we're panting. Oh, it's dark over here. Oh boy. Gosh, so that's what they're serving in the cafeteria. Doesn't look like it digested too well. <laughs> we must save battery. Oh crap. Man, worst batteries ever. Already half out of juice. Already half out of juice? My juice to you know slang de energy to you in this net. Tatoeba. On a big job like this, you need to pace yourself. You don't want to run out of juice before you finish. Okay, okay. Must save battery. Oh, we're still recording. <laughs> That's where we came from. More red pools down below. Don't shake it so hard, man. Please use some restraint. <laughs> you want your head to end up on a shelf? Okay, time to squeeze through again. Little fake. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the end. That didn't take long, did it? What just happened? And who are you, then? I'm just a guy who got thrown off a balcony by a... by a head I, collector. I see. Merciful God, you have sent me an apostle. Guard your life, son. You have a calling. So you're a helper? Is my calling your calling? You're, we're on the same team? It's good not to be alone. I could use your help, man. Wait, where'd you go? New objective, escape the asylum. <laughs> Access security control to unlock the main doors. Yeah, I think, uh, oh boy. More headless people. Um, where's the security? Man. Am I the only one with a head around here? Okay, there's a document. The Murkoff Corp, United States Office Warrant for Seizure in the matter of the seizure of Mount Massive Psychiatric Center. Okay, affidavits having made before... We are satisfied that the affidavits and testimony establish sufficient evidence to require urgent action on the part of MHS and grounds for the issuance of this warrant. You're hereby required to grant MHS full access to all facilities. By acceptance of this document, you surrender all claims of litigation against Murkoff Corp. or its subsidiaries for the actions of MHS. So it sounds like they were in trouble. And again with that... Jump scare sound. Okay, that's blocked. Where's the security control, please? Um, should we take the elevator? Guess we're not taking the elevator. <laughs> oh. There's somebody down there. They've got a head on their shoulders. Hey, they sit. They're alive. Hey, buddy. 
They don't seem to be in very good spirits, though. Oh, gosh. Okay, we can go in the computer lab. Maybe there's a battery or something in here. <laughs> and no... No bad guys with axes or... Unhealthy appetites for human flesh. Hey, you've got a head. <laughs> That's nice. Just like me. Jesus. Jesus. Jeez. Oh, dude. Walk quietly, man. Walk quietly, please. I beg of you. I beg you. Beg to you know what? Tanomu. Ya. Koi motomeru. Tatoeba. She begged me to give her another chance. I begged her not to let me down again. She didn't. Kanojo wa mo ikkai dake chance o kure to tanonde kita. Watashi wa kanojo ni mo nido to gakkari sase nai de kure to tanonda. Kanojo ga watashi o gakkari sase rukoto wa nakatta. Okay. Oh, that was nice stepping in pools of blood. A document. Murkoff Psychiatric Systems, Project Wall Rider, case number 136, CLW Walker. Consult date, May 28th, 2013, patient age 32. Physician, Rudolf Wernicke. Therapy status, morphogenic engine activity plateaued at roughly 2,000 ppm. So what's this morphogenic engine? It sounds like something they were using to mess with people's minds. Unsafe to progress beyond stage three hormone schedule. Diagnostics. Spirometry revealed light to medium bronchial accumulation. MRI scans consistent with patients reported dreams. Again with the dreams. Walker was interviewed with in restraints following his self-inflicted mutilations. Restraint have had to be altered to accommodate his enormous size. I think that may have been the gentleman we just met on the landing. Extensive dermal eruptions as consistent with failed morphogenic engine cellular activity. He claims the skin ripped from his forehead allows for a truer way of seeing. Seems to have some boyhood experience with Tuatara lizards and their parietal eyes. He has expressed anxiety about his flesh specifically around his nips, lips, and nose. Attending orderlies should be advised to watch for fu further self-mutilation. The mental traumas he sustained while serving in Afghanistan seem to be retarding progression of the ME process. His predominant fixation, amplified by therapy, is a manic exaggeration of military security protocol. A continuation of both chemical and physical restraints is highly recommended. Yeah, I think that's definitely the guy that we met up above. Ripping his own face off. Probably tearing off everybody's heads. A very special guy. It's okay, buddy. Calm down. Calm down. We're okay. Oh, so we can peek. Oh. Maybe a friend. Let's go talk to him. He's in a wheelchair. How dangerous can he be? Smile, you're on camera. Okay. Hey. He's not very talkative. Let's move on. Um, should we go talk to them? <laughs> Gotta capture this too. Oh. Yeah, I'll just leave you guys to it. Enjoy the show. <laughs> oh my god, what? what? <laughs> Bye.
Where is security? Must find security. Okay. Let's see what's downstairs. Damn it. I guess this is our only option. Oh, Jesus! Is he gone? Because I don't think there's anywhere else we can go. We're stuck into the bathroom here. Door number one. Cleaning supplies. <laughs> oh, door number two. Oh, yeah, witness. Okay. Okay. Uh-huh. Another hand in the toilet. That's a that's a good good gag. Always good for a laugh. Um. 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 Oh, and guts. Okay. Well, this seems to be as good a place as any to wrap things up for this time. I'll see you next time, guys. Stay safe. Goodbye.